As a performer, I love getting to see great performances or recordings of the Met, you know, their live broadcast, to see the scale of their production, the world's best singers um, coming straight to our homes. That is a special thing, and that's all thanks to Houston Public Media. Well, they say that art is the mirror of society, and, and street art does that because it's just there, but because Houston is so big, the world is so big, you know, it's not possible for you to see everything. And so you need some means to show the people. I think in today's world, PBS is one of the only places where you are getting an intimate look at the art that is happening in communities around America. Houston Public Media is showing you the real artists in these communities. Maybe in our world. I know a lot of people that grew up on Bob Ross and on, on other segments that really helped them hone that person in them that became an artist. You never know what child is watching something and uh, finding their dream, finding their passion, being inspired, having new ideas. You know, the most influential thing was the six wives of Henry VIII. I was like eight or nine. We'd sit with my parents and they would have history books. They were so excited that we were so interested in the history. It was a great family moment, but it was a great show. It was so good. Growing up, my family wasn't able to afford cable television, so pretty much the only thing that was on TV was, was PBS. So I grew up watching everything from like Sesame Street to, uh, you know, Bob Ross, and then also there was these series of shows like 1900 House and Manor House, and I was even so obsessed with those that I would go to the library after it was off the air and I would check out those DVDs and, and keep watching them because I just loved that. I grew up in a smaller town for a period of time and although I was exposed to lots of arts in that town, it was also limited. And I have really vivid memories of great performances and the shows that I was, I was seeing at that time and it was so inspiring to see dance, what I am so passionate about at that level. Um, and on that scale and to see it in such big opera houses from all over the world coming straight into my home was, was really something that I, I'll never forget. And I, I grew up on those videos and still watch them to this day. There was a, a story with Tracy Letts who had won the Pulitzer Prize for August Osage County, and, which is an amazing play that I loved. And um, he, he just cursorily mentioned his favorite work. And I thought, well, what's that play? And so I went and found it and fell in love with it, and, um, and it was programmed and, and offered. That's a direct impact. You know, I was so influenced by Downton Abbey, one of my favorite television series of all time in the history of television. Um, so I think I, I definitely went through a very classic phase while Downton Abbey was, was airing about, we, we really need a, a little more erudite language in our plays here. <laughs> when you support Houston Public Media on an ongoing monthly basis, you'll become a sustaining member. That means your membership will never expire, and you'll have access to hundreds of on-demand programs through TV8 PBS Passport. Use Passport to catch up on Ken Burns films, Masterpiece, American Experience, and more. Consider $10, $20, or $30 a month when you call 800-364-8300 or give online at HoustonPublicMedia.org. Sometimes when you're able to hear what the artist has to say, the most important thing is always paint. On programs like Arts Insight, they have stories. then you're able to connect to a work in a new and much more meaningful way. So you are beautifying the city one wall at a time. Uh, that's exactly right. When you are using media, when you're using PBS, when you are expanding the scope of your understanding through Houston Public Media, then what you're doing is enriching the whole of the experience. Exposure to the arts, conversation about the arts, engagement with the arts, understanding that your response to art is valid. All of those things come through arts education and it's critical. It's, it's the way in which our minds can be most open to that which is good in humanity. No other media is doing it as fully as public media. I think that PBS is all about the flexible mind and I think that it makes us think about the world in, a, in an exciting and, and different way. I think art is the universal language, right? It's something we all share. I speak through dance. I love that because there's no words. You know, we don't have to speak the same language to be communicating. From the day we're children, we're dancing. Uh, every culture has their own style of dance. Um, same with music, 
Same with, you know, painting. We all have our own version, our own language, but we're all able to understand each other uh, through the arts. My name is Whitney Bullock, and I support Houston Public Media. I am Anat Ronan, and I support Houston Public Media. I'm Ken McLaughlin, and I support Houston Public Media. I am Connor Walsh, and I support Houston Public Media.